In this codebook tutorial, we're going to be looking at shared parameters. Codebook has the ability to map parameters for architectural spaces, MEP spaces, equipment parameters, and equipment instance parameters, as well as door parameters. What this means is Codebook maintains the ability to write shared parameters to all of these objects, and in certain instances, from these objects back to the Codebook database. This allows us to have Codebook as a driving force to manage all of the shared parameter for a Revit model, including room information and also FF&E information such as codings, groupings, classifications and descriptions. So we're going to take a look at room parameter mapping now for an architectural model against rooms rather than spaces. So we're going to open up Codebook, I'm going to select Build and Settings. We're going to scroll down to define parameter mapping and you can see now we have the area in which we can set up codebook shared parameters. If you have a shared parameter file already set for Revit, we can specify it here, otherwise codebook will use the default one. We want to look at room parameter mapping now, so we're going to click room parameter mapping and apply. As you can see this feature is password protected. So you can see we have a mapping of room parameters to be copied to or from BIM form open now. On the left hand side we have a table name. These are codebook fields such as floor, department, room, room instance. On the middle section we have the subfields contained within the master field. So we've got room data design issues and we have activities. And on the right hand side, we have the parameter to which we want to pass this data to. So we can select a pre existing Revit parameter, or I can just type in a new parameter and Cobit will create it for us. We can now select whether we want to copy this data to BIM or from BIM into Codebook. So we're going to copy it to BIM and then we're going to include it. If we do not have the include selected, although the parameter is mapped, data will not be transferred. So there is no save function, we'll just click out of the box and close. So I'm going to look at my NCE29 now. We'll go to room data and design issues, and you can see we have an activity note set here. What we're going to do is synchronize now. The codebook to Revit and Revit to codebook parameters are not pushed automatically. For room or MEP space parameters, codebook needs to synchronize the rooms to the model for this to be completed. So we can synchronize an individual room or we could do the entire model. For time we're just going to do an individual room here. And we can see that synchronized successfully. So I'm going to tell it to go and open this room. Now if we scroll down to the other section, we can see that now Codebook has created the activities parameter and written the data into a Revit model. If we were to change this now and resynchronize, this information would be overwritten. What we can do, however, is update our activity notes in Revit. We can go back to Codebook and the shared parameter settings and we can actually push this data from Revit into Codebook. So if we were to resynchronize again, that's now completed. And you can see the activity now update has been pushed from Revit into Codebook. So that's room parameter mapping. Very simple, we can push we can pull data, we can do that for as many shared parameters as you need, and we can also push and pull data at the same time. So you don't have to have all of the data from Codebook going into Revit, and all of the Revit data going into Codebook, you can do it both ways. What we're gonna now do is look at equipment parameter mapping. So we're gonna go into our ff &E library, and we're gonna look at our Ben001. Um, with Codebook, every item of equipment has as a minimum group, a class, a code, 
our description. Any data that we have stored against an object in the Codebook Equipment Library can be pushed to that object within Revit. So services information, facilities information, purchase information, summary information can be pushed to Revit. So we would do this by going to Build and Settings, Define Parameter Mapping, but we'll select Equipment Parameter Mapping in this instance, and click Apply. Now here, we can see that the data is only pushed to Revit. We can't pull data from Revit because it's a one-to-many relationship opposed to a many-to-many -many relationship. So if I, for instance, wanted to pass uh, the room number to the item of equipment, include. So again, we can select from a drop-down or we can type in a pre-existing value or create a new value. We tick include, we can add a note if needs be. There's no save button, we just click out the form. Now we've mapped our parameter to Revit from Codebook for the equipment. We now need to update the design equipment list. As with a room and space parameter where we need to synchronize BIM to database links for any updated information to take place. For any update of equipment information to take place, we need to update the designed equipment lists. So we can right click and update the FFNE lists. Cobalt will now go away and it will update the designed equipment lists and copy the shared parameters from the Codebook database into the families within Revit. We can see that's now completed, so we'll click OK. And if we open the room now and click on the object, we can see the room number hosted has been mapped to Revit as a shared parameter. We can do that against any data held within the Cobit library. If we now want to look at equipment instance parameter mapping, this is where we can actually write instance base data from the required equipment list against the object of that singular family in Revit. So what we're going to do is go to our build and settings and we're going to select equipment instance parameter mapping and you can see now this is bidirectional so we can map the color field as a test field in codebook to parameter name EQ color or we can select the drop down box we can copy this from BIM or copy it to BIM and we can include it and add a note. So we're going to close that and we're going to go to our store equipment and go to our required equipment list. So I have an OUT052 here in the required list and I have a data tab and I can set the colour for that item. We're going to set it as test one and we can save that. Now when we insert this object into BIM and then update the design equipment list for this room we can now select the room, select the object within that room and we can see the EQ colour has been passed as a shared parameter just to just that object. Um, if we were to resynchronize again, but pass this data to Codebook from Revit, this data will be passed back to the object, but in the designed equipment list rather than required. And it would appear under the Show Properties data section under the Color section. That concludes a short tutorial on shared parameter mapping. If you have any questions, please contact support at cobrickinternational.com. Thank you.